When it comes to classic Florida beach towns, it doesn't get much better than New Smyrna Beach. We might be a little biased since we live 30 minutes away. NSB is the complete opposite of its busier, slightly more famous neighbor to the north, especially when it comes to its rich history. Scottish doctor Andrew Turnbull organized the largest attempt at British colonization in the New World by founding New Smyrna in 1768. About 1,300 settlers from Menorca and Greece were recruited to work at Turnbull's plantation. After years of extreme mistreatment by Turnbull and plantation overseers, many of the indentured fled to St. Augustine, and the colony collapsed. Menorcan descendants still live in St. Augustine to this day. Present-day New Smyrna Beach stands on the former settlement founded by Turnbull. There's a comfortable family vibe in the city of just under 30,000 people. Recognized as one of the top surf towns in the world, New Smyrna Beach isn't just about catching the next wave. It's full of history, art, and plenty of fun with a little bohemian flair thrown in. We have a number of videos about cool places to visit in New Smyrna Beach and our channel archives. From the natural beauty of Smyrna Dunes Park and what's left of one of the area's steam-powered sugar mills, to a vintage soda fountain inside a drugstore on Canal Street, and a retro family-owned DQ that's been a go-to in the community for decades. All of that just a fraction of what there is to see and do here in this quintessential Atlantic Coast beach town. So today we're back on the central east coast of Florida, showing you more fun things to do in New Smyrna Beach. New Smyrna Beach is home to the most biologically diverse estuary in North America. Going more than 150 miles down Florida's eastern coast, the Indian River Lagoon is home to more than 4,000 species of plants and animals. A variety of programs at the Marine Discovery Center offer hands-on, feet-wet learning opportunities to better understand the ecodiversity of this area. Inside, visitors can get up close to some amazing animals that live in and near the lagoon. Venture outside where you'll find a butterfly garden, a natural playscape, fitness stations, and a five-acre restored salt marsh. Guided kayak eco-tours are available here for a charge, along with tours of the lagoon on a 40-passenger pontoon boat. Adjacent to the Salt Marsh is an amphitheater that plays host to informative presentations and an outdoor movie and music series. Also on property, Mount Morgan. You can spot the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse from the top. In search of a healthy pick-me-up before heading to the beach, Mason Bar is a friendly little cafe where you'll find menu items like smoothies, acai bowls, frozen pops, and sweet treats made from the freshest ingredients. Plenty of options here when it comes to cold-pressed drinks packed with vitamins and nutrients. I opted for a flamingo smoothie made from pineapple, banana, mango, and coconut water. This was just what I needed midway through a day of shooting. Abby indulged in a blueberry basil frozen pop, which I tasted, and it was packed with flavor. The cafe also serves up a number of plated specials like banana and strawberry toast and stuffed avocado. If there's no place you'd rather be than on the beach, head to Flagler Avenue. This is the Main Street area on the city's beach side, chock full of locally owned stores and restaurants. Two surf shops steps from the ocean will get you prepared for a day of riding the waves. Get caffeinated with a cup of joe from Beachy Beans, have some authentic Tex-Mex at Clancy's Cantina, 
or go shopping for a souvenir to take back home. Flagler Avenue provides beach access if you're looking to take a drive on the sand. Beach wheelchairs are available free of charge at lifeguard stations. There's also a covered pavilion where you can take in the sights and sounds of the beach and it's a great spot for people watching. Off-beach parking is limited with several small lots scattered up and down Flagler Avenue. Be prepared to do a little walking on busier days. If you're a Gen Xer like me, you probably grew up watching artist Bob Ross on public television. Bob was born in nearby Daytona Beach in 1942 and was raised in Orlando. No matter how famous he became, Bob always loved Florida, especially New Smyrna Beach. In 1992, just a few years before he died, the painter opened Bob Ross Art Workshop and Gallery in this Publix anchored strip mall just a short walk from the beach. For those looking to paint those happy little clouds like Bob, you can do it here. Inside, they offer fundamental classes open to anyone who wants to spend a week learning to paint like Bob Ross. Those who desire a traffic-free beach in the New Smyrna area might want to drive south down A1A to Mary McLeod Bethune Beach Park. Named to honor one of the greatest educators to ever call this area home, this beach was originally established during the days of segregation. At that time, it was the only beach in the area that African Americans were permitted to use. Today, the park covers six acres between the Indian River and the Atlantic with plenty of free off-beach parking. With nearly 800 feet of direct beachfront sidewalk, this ADA-accessible county park also has restrooms, large picnic pavilions, and showers. The Riverside area of the park is a short walk across South Atlantic Avenue and has tennis, pickleball, basketball, and volleyball courts, along with a playground, fishing pier, and restrooms. This section is an excellent location for viewing manatees, dolphins, and pelicans. A true taste of Europe can be found at Mondelez, an authentic French bakery that's been a staple since the mid-1970s. Inside this cozy space, you'll find cases of classic French pastries like Napoleon's, cream horns, eclairs, and my personal favorite, coconut rolls. Mondelez is well known for its beautiful artisan breads made just like they do in southern France. We like to stop by the bakery for a sandwich on a crusty French sub roll or croissant on our way to the beach. Top the sandwich off with some oil and spices and I promise you'll never want to picnic without one of these sandwiches in your basket ever again. This next spot might not be within the city limits of New Smyrna Beach, but it's so close and so beautiful, I can't make this list without telling you a little bit about it. Made up of 23 acres in neighboring Port Orange is Spruce Creek Park. This little slice of paradise overlooking the water is open sunrise to sunset and is free to visit. There are more than three miles of nature trails that lead to a 15-foot observation tower where you can look out over the marsh area near Spruce Creek. A canoe launch is available and a wooden walkway over the water will take you to a couple of covered seating areas where you can fish and enjoy the cool breeze. You'll also find a small playground and plenty of spots for a picnic. Spruce Creek Park is located on the west side of US-1, about a six mile drive north from New Smyrna Beach.
Perhaps no eatery personifies New Smyrna Beach and its laid-back lifestyle better than J.B.'s Fish Camp. Sitting north of Canaveral National Seashore between the Atlantic and Mosquito Lagoon, this friendly hangout has been around since the late 1970s and today is a local institution. The restaurant serves up a slice of Old Florida with the freshest seafood in the area. You can bring a fishing pole and drop a line or let the kids watch the manatees, dolphins, and shorebirds from the dock. Live music is often performed on JB's outdoor stage. After lunch, rent a paddleboard or a kayak for a fun time out on the water. Here's a look at the latest rental rates. That's it. That's our latest list of fun things to do in New Smyrna Beach. We'll be back soon to add even more places to our archive of videos here on YouTube. If you have a place in New Smyrna Beach or anywhere else in Florida you would like to see featured, be sure to leave us a comment. We always love hearing from you. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a future episode. From always beautiful New Smyrna Beach, Florida, See you next time.